last thing that surprises me and that I love most about Denmark. Hello YouTube friends, it's Christine. I upload videos of everything in Denmark in English, Danish and Tagalog. Well, our topic for today is about why I love Denmark. So I list down some of the things that I love about Denmark. As a Filipina living in Denmark, there are still some things I get surprised when I meet Danish people from my work, from my family, circle of friends, and everywhere else here in Denmark. So I listed some of the things that surprises me or I may say that I love about Danish people actually. Are you interested to know? So here are some of my list. Number one. Danish people are really good at speaking in English. Yes, they are. Maybe just like us Filipinos, English might be their second language because most people really speak good English. There may be some older people who are not really good at speaking in English, but they understand. Of course, they love to speak their own language. That is why as a foreigner, I recommend that when you arrive in Denmark, you learn how to speak Danish or in their words, it's Dansk. Number two, they have funny humor. They might have some dark humor, but I love when my husband is joking at me. Like for example, he keeps on saying that I am small and brown. Yeah, you know what, small and brown and sometimes it smells. Number three, they speak directly. Like if they mean no, then that means no. If they means yes, it means yes. There is no circle, circle things that we Filipinos do. Yeah, they are very direct. Number four, I get surprised when I see baby carriages just outside their houses. Imagine how much trust they have on their people. Not unlike in the Philippines, sad to say, you know, you cannot just leave your baby outside your house. Number five, the wish list. It's funny because during Christmas season or birthdays in the family, at least in my husband's family, you have to send them a list of the things you want, you wish for your birthday or during Christmas and then the family will talk about this list and they put their money together so they will buy the thing that you wished for. I mean, you're not gonna get everything what's on the list, but at least you will get what you wished for. This just surprises me because when I first arrived here and my husband's family asked me for what I wanted to have on my birthday or during Christmas, I always said that I only want money, but that's not how it works actually. You really have to wish for something. Not necessarily material things. You could also wish for experiences, tickets, you know, together with the family. That's actually a surprise for me. Number six, family get together. Of course, as Filipino, we have this family get together as well. But at least again, in my husband's family, Every year we have to gather like during summer or during Christmas time wherein we just are going to talk about our lives. How is it going on with him and her cousins, uncle. It's just so nice because you can still feel that you are still together with a family even if they live far away from each other now. At least you still have a communication and connection with the part of the family. You know what's going on in everybody. Number seven, Danish people are actually reasonable and logical most of the time. Disclaimer, this is with no disrespect for most of our Filipino families, but for example, logical in a way like if you know that your father says something bad about one thing, you are not gonna tolerate it because you are just his son. 
you have to say what you mean as well, not because he is your father, so he is always right. But you know, the Filipino way, you cannot talk back to the people who are older than you, but it that doesn't mean that you are actually talking back. You are just saying your reason or your logic about that thing. So yeah, number eight, Famous people are just normal people. Celebrities here in Denmark, when you just see them on the street, they are just normal people. Unlike in Philippines, oh my God, you know how we see highly of celebrities. Just like the other day, for example, I saw on TV that our prince was just cycling, going somewhere else. Maybe he's going to buy some things from the supermarket. He was just on his own bicycle and the people are not coming to him and then say, hey, hello, we want autograph, my prince, something like that. That actually surprises me again. That's just mean that everybody is just like this. Everybody is equal. Nobody's higher, nobody's lower. Really lovely. Number nine, talking about at work. Danish people at work is still the same as what I mentioned earlier. As a celebrity, you are not ma'am, you are not sir. Just like at work, your boss is not ma'am, is not sir. You just call them by their first names. That's cool, right? But of course, you're not gonna talk to him like, yo boss, yo, yo. No, not like that, what I'm meaning. And again, about work, when it is holiday when it is your vacation then it is vacation i haven't even experienced somebody calling me from work when i was on vacation doesn't matter what it is you just have to fix work things when you come back to work so they have a very big respect when people is on holiday and that's really really nice the tenth and last thing that surprises me and that I love most about Denmark are the Danish people themselves. They are actually really open-hearted. You just have to nod and smile at them. Like for example, as what I've experienced when I walk him on the park. So people just nod and smile at me. It just makes my day beautiful already so that's it that's on my list of the reasons why i love denmark and i know it will keep on coming as time goes by but of course life is not always so perfect so on my next video i'm also gonna write my list of what are the things i do not like about denmark but for now that's it I hope to see you on my next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.